Hi there, so today I'm going to be talking about using SAS with your Svelte project. So first thing I'm going to do is come into my practice folder and digit um, svelte.js slash template and I'm going to call it scss svelte and then I'll need to change directory into scss svelte. Okay, here I am. Next thing I need to do is npm install and while that is doing that what we're gonna need is the rollup plugin so um, you're gonna have to npm install from here and you'll see here the usage in rollup.config.js so gonna say npm install that uh, so you're gonna need to import it in your config file and then run the SSS in your plugins. Um, let me open code dot. And if you're not using Visual Studio Code, another thing you can do is on Mac open minus A and then type in, if it's like Atom, you can type in Atom and then do dot. But if you're using Visual Studio Code, you can just do this if you, if you install that. Okay, so, uh, here in rollup config, where are you? Here you are. I'm going to import it like this. And then I'm going to come down here to the end, comma, scss. So this is my plugins here. So I'm going to run that there. Okay, so next thing is how to set up your scss. Um, so in the source, so you might have like, um, let's say I just have a circle. If you think of another component I could use besides circle, let me know. It's just, I always use that. And then you make a folder for your SCSS. And you make a file for your, oh, not inside there. You make a file inside source. Um, you could call it, maybe I'll call it global.scss. Okay. And then in app.svelte, you're going to, no, in main.js, you're going to import global, or make sure you do dot slash global.scss. Okay. And then in your global, so every time you add a new component, what you're going to do is, so one thing you can do is just add it in here with dot circle. And make sure you are always naming your components like this if you're going to do it this way. This is how I do it. Um, since the name is circle.svelte, then I'm going to give this, the component, a class of capitalized C circle. Okay, so once you've made your um, component, and I'm going to add in one prop export let color equal, and here I just found color trends, this one here, coral and then that way I can change the color of the circle if I want to by doing background oops sorry no by doing style equals background and then color okay so I've got my circle component and so if you're going to use the SCSS then you cannot use well you might be able to I don't know how you do it but you cannot use this style tag I can't get them to both work in conjunction and it's probably better to just pick one or the other. So since we're doing it with SCSS, here I'm going to add a, oops, I'm going to name it circle.scss and then circle. So here if you're going to, for each component, make its own SCSS file, then here you don't need to do that, okay? Here you're going to add import um, SCSS slash uh, circle.scss. Okay, so that'll import it from here for you. Okay, so now here I can put in whatever I want for my circle. So it's going to have a height and a width of 200 pixels, and then border radius of 100%. So then if your component has subcomponents or it has uh, other stuff inside of it, maybe every circle we have has a paragraph tag saying I am a circle in it, then you can come to your circle SCSS and do something like this. Maybe I want the font size to be a big, 
bigger, so I'll do 1.3. Okay, so now here in app, we just gotta import, oops, import circle from dot slash circle dot svelte. And then write circle. Okay, so let's see if that works. Looks like I didn't save that. Okay. Uh, gotta come here and run the server. npm run dev. And then go to localhost 5000. Okay, and there is our circle. Doesn't look great, but that is how you would do it. Um, so yeah, one thing I want to mention is here if you come and do the circle, if you add something in here, let's say you're just doing your normal svelte styles, and you say, oh, I want this to be uh, background uh, blue, and that's important. Or no, that's not going to overwrite it, so maybe I want the height to be 500 pixels then that's not gonna do anything. So if you come and look at the, oops, yeah, if you come look at it here, you'll see that there's no 500 pixels to be found. So that's why I suggest just not doing this at all. If you're gonna use SCSS, then put it all in here and don't put any in the component. So uh, that's how I would use SCSS in my Svelte project. Uh, if you have other ideas, let me know.